Thank you, Charlie. We're also following breaking news tonight about vaping. A state appellate court has granted a temporary restraining order halting a ban on flavored e-cigarettes. That controversial ban was set to take effect at midnight. This restraining order will allow sales to continue until at least October 18th. All of this comes as the battle over the future of e-cigs is growing right here in Buffalo. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya has more tonight. All fruit, all gone. So I basically one single row, one single row of flavors will remain. Almost all of the inventory at Perfection Vapes will disappear when the New York State ban on flavored e-cigarettes and e-vapors goes into effect, whenever that may be. Prohibition again will fail. It failed in the alcohol industry and it failed uh, as far back as when, the, when God said to Adam and Eve, don't eat the apple. Longtime Western New York politician Joel Giambra has written a letter to Governor Cuomo urging him to reconsider the proposed ban on flavored e-cigarettes. You know, we don't want to be adversarial. We want to join with him. Giambra is joined by two men in the e-cigarette industry. Together, they have come up with 13 alternatives to the ban aimed at keeping e-cigarettes out of the hands of youth. For example, raise the purchasing age to 21 and stop online sales. This Tobacco 21 legislature will change that. We're not even giving it a chance. But the proposal from this group doesn't involve eliminating flavors. Why are we banning uh, a liquor that has flavor in it? It makes no sense. But guess what? Pretty soon, they're going to be going somewhere else to get their product or they're gonna go back to smoking cigarettes. Some vape customers are concerned. Quit smoking for five years. I was up to four packs a day of menthol cigarettes. Okay. And it's the only thing that would help me quit was vape. And once again, that temporary restraining order means that vape shop owners will have two additional weeks to keep products on the shelves. Until then, there will be talks in Albany about how to keep vapes out of the hands of young people, as well as keep local businesses open. Live in the newsroom, Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.